neo.com. I'm going to have up a review on my thoughts of the Dior Star Foundation in shade 50. And I know there's a ton of reviews about this up already and have been up for a while. But when I was researching this and looking all over YouTube, I didn't... Well, no, I saw one. I saw one that was uh, of a woman of color. So I wanted to kind of add one more, I guess. And I'd love to see more. So I have the All Star Foundation in shade 50. I try out a lot of foundations for my blog. I, I, I love to get samples and try them out. And this one, I tried it out and I knew immediately I had to go back and buy it. Usually I try them out, wear them for three or four days and toss them in a can full of foundation samples. But this one I just knew I wasn't. So I got mine at Macy's and um, so far I just love it. I, I have it on today. Uh, I also have on just a little bit of concealer to shape my eyebrows and a little bit of the eyeshadow. But I don't have concealer underneath my eyes. I don't have concealer anywhere else. I really just wanted to show the foundation. I also topped it up, finished it off with my Chanel Le Beige powder uh, in number 60. So um, I did have two samples. I was able to get two samples, the shade 50 and the shade 60. And both of the, um, when I tried it, when I got my first, the samples, and when I tried it, when I went back to buy it, both the um, reps agreed with me that 50 was better. This is 50, this is 60. 50 is a bit more yellow toned, 60 is a bit more red. Um, since we are going into the winter, I thought 50 would work better for me because I, I will get paler. I, I do, I will get paler. So, so yeah, so I added this new foundation. I love it. I love the coverage. It's buildable. It's weightless. I, I don't feel it. I'm really like, oh, I just love it. I have to admit that I do have pretty decent skin. I, I have a giant zit over here and I have some hyperpigmentation spots from when I used to have zits as a teenager. I do get bags under my eyes as well and I'm, you know, starting to get the kind of wrinkles and that kind of stuff. But other than that, I do admit I have pretty good skin. Thank you, mom and dad. So I don't look for a full coverage foundation. I don't look for a mattifying foundation. I don't look for any of that. But I do like a foundation that makes me look like I'm not wearing foundation and that just makes me, gives me a little bit of a glow and just looks normal. I like my skin to still show. I have nothing on my neck so you can see between the two. Um, yeah. So, um, okay, so that's my, I'm pretty happy. This is what the finished product looks like. And, um, yeah, let's do the second part of the video so you okay. can. I have no makeup on. I did put on a little bit of mascara. I look ill without mascara, so I did have to put that on. Um, I'm going to just put like two pumps on the back of my hand. And I am going to spray my brush. I do like to spritz it out a little bit. I'm using the Dior foundation brush. Um, it's my favorite brush. I know there was a beauty blender type sponge that came out with this, but this is my favorite brush, so I'm just gonna stick with what I know. And yeah, I'll just put it on. A little. Now, Spraying the brush, making the brush wet, does tend to shear the foundation out just a little bit. So there. I think I, I look, you know, dewy. I don't know if I look brighter. It does say it's a brightening foundation. I'm not too sure what a brightening foundation is. Maybe with time, I will look brighter. Uh, but I do feel like it gives a really flawless finish. It's, I'm filming this in daylight. They, I have no lights on. It's afternoon day, uh, 
it's it's afternoon where I am and I just I just love the look I think it's just very flawless clean coverage your skin is still visible um, you know I I am lucky don't get me wrong I don't have a lot of I have my flaws definitely but I'm not trying to cover you know like mountains of um, of acne scars so thank you thanks for watching I hope you liked the video um, I highly recommend this I'm glad I didn't sleep on it I tried it out I had a sample tried it out and went and bought it I just love it um, I do recommend getting a sample so I, I recommend everybody get samples so that's just general um, yeah thanks